Today, let's crochet a very beautiful one. Contrast flower handbag. The wire uses five strands of milk cotton. Four strand crocheted. The crochet uses a 4.5 millimeters crochet. The capacity is still quite large. Everyday small items can be put down. Next, let's knit together. First, let's crochet the main flower piece. We need to synthesize five strands of milk cotton into four strands. Knit together. First, make two circles around your fingers. The crochet is inserted into the starting ring. Bring out a coil. Next, crochet a turning chain. We began to crochet the first loop. The first loop is to knit eight single crochets in the needle lifting loop. Watch me demonstrate the hook method of single crochet. The crochet is inserted into the starting ring. Bring out a coil. Now there are two loops on the crochet. The crochet wire is pulled through the two loops at one time. This is a single crochet hook method. Next, follow the same hook method. A total of eight single crochets are crocheted in the starting loop. After eight single crochet crochets, let's deal with the open part. There are two line segments in the opening. First pull the inner line segment. Then pull the outer thread. Next, crochet a slip stitch with the first stitch. This completes the first lap. Next, crochet a turning chain. We began to crochet the second loop. The second circle is in each stitch. Add a single crochet. Two single crochets need to be crocheted in each stitch. First, in the first needle eye. Two single crochets are knitted in the same stitch. Then in the second needle mesh. Knit two single crochets in the same stitch. Next, follow the same hook method. Single crochet is knitted twice in each stitch. After the second loop of crocheting, one, there are 16 single crochets in total. Next, hook a slip stitches with the first needle. Then crochet a turning chain. We began to crochet the third loop. The third circle is according to. Add a single crochet every other stitch. The rule of de-hooking. First, crochet a single crochet in the first stitch. Then in the second needle mesh. Add a single crochet. In this way, group one is finished. Next, crochet the second group. Crochet a single crochet in the third stitch. Add a single crochet in the fourth stitch. In this way, the two groups of stitches are completed next. Follow the same rules to finish the third loop. After the third loop of crocheting, we cut the thread. Thread head is pulled out directly. Then, enter the needle from the back of the first needle. Take the thread out. Then from the last stitch, right penetration center, pull the wire out. Then hide the thread.
This completes the third lap. This is our centerpiece. Then, find a needle at random and enter the needle. Bring in the blue line. Start crocheting the part of the flower. First, crochet a turning chain. In lap 4, we followed. Add a single crochet at intervals of 3 stitches to remove the hook. First, in the first needle. Crochet a single crochet. In the second needle. Crochet a single crochet. Knit a single crochet in the third stitch. Next, in the fourth stitch, add a single crochet. In this way, the first group of stitches is completed. Next, let's crochet group 2. Knit a single crochet in the first stitch. Crochet a single crochet in the second stitch. Knit a single crochet in the third stitch. Add a single crochet to the fourth stitch. In this way, two groups of stitches will be completed. Next, follow the same rule. Crochet all remaining stitches. 40 single crochets in total after the fourth loop of crocheting. Next, hook a slip stitches with the first needle. Crochet a turning chain. We began to crochet the fifth loop. The law of the fifth circle is, add a single crochet every five single crochets. First, crochet a single crochet in the first stitch. Crochet a single crochet in the second stitch. In the third needle, crochet a single crochet. Knit a single crochet in the fourth stitch. In the fifth needle, Crochet a single crochet. In the sixth stitch, add a single crochet. This completes group one. Next, crochet group two. Crochet a single crochet in the first stitch. Crochet a single crochet in the second stitch. Crochet a single crochet in the third stitch. Crochet a single crochet in the fourth stitch. Crochet a single crochet in the fifth stitch. Add a single crochet in the sixth stitch. In this way, the two groups are finished. Next, follow the same rule. Finish crocheting the remaining stitches. The sixth loop is finished. There are 64 single crochets in total. Next in first needle, crochet a slip stitches connection. Then start to crochet the sixth loop. The law of the sixth circle is, add a single crochet every six stitches. First, crochet a single crochet in the first stitch. Crochet a single crochet in the second stitch. Knit a single crochet in the third stitch. In the fourth stitch, crochet a single crochet. Knit a single crochet in the fifth stitch. In the sixth stitch, crochet a single crochet. In the seventh needle, add a single crochet. This completes group 1. Next, crochet group 2.
knit a single crochet in the first stitch. Crochet a single crochet in the second stitch. Knit a single crochet in the third stitch. Knit a single crochet in the fourth stitch. Knit a single crochet in the fifth stitch. Knit a single crochet in the sixth stitch. Add a single crochet to the seventh stitch. In this way, the two groups are finished. Next, crochet according to the same rules. All remaining needles. After the sixth loop of crocheting, there are 64 single crochets in total next. Hook a slip stitches with the first stitch. Then crochet a turning chain. We began to crochet the seventh loop. First, crochet a single crochet in the first stitch. Place a mark buckle at the position of the first pin. Then in the second needle, crochet a long needle. Next, at the third needle, fourth and fifth stitches. Stitch six among the four stitches. Two long stitches are knitted from each stitch. Next, crochet a long needle in the seventh stitch. Knit a single crochet in the eighth stitch. In this way, we have completed a set of petals. Next, follow the same rule. Crochet the second set of petals. First, crochet a single crochet in the first stitch. Within the second needle mesh, crochet a long needle. In the next four stitches, each stitch is crocheted twice. Then in the seventh needle, crochet a long needle. In the eighth stitch, crochet a single crochet. In this way, we will finish the crocheting of the second group of petals. Next, follow the same rule. A total of five petals were crocheted. After the completion of the fifth petal in the seventh circle, Hook a slip stitches with the first stitch. Next, crochet a turning chain. 
we began to crochet the 8 loop. First, hook a slip stitch in the first stitch. Next, knit 5 single crochets in sequence. After 5 single crochets are crocheted, add a single crochet in the next stitch. Next, continue to knit single crochet 5 times in sequence. In this way, the first group of petals is completed. We began to crochet the second set of petals. First, in the first needle, crochet a slip stitch. Next, knit single crochet five times in sequence. After 5 single crochets, in the next stitch, add a single crochet. Next, continue to crochet 5 single crochets in sequence. In this way, the second group of petals is completed. According to this rule, the remaining groups of petals are crocheted. After lap 8, hook a slip stitches with the first stitch. Next, crochet a turning chain. Cut the thread and pull out the end. In this way, we have finished the flower part. Turn over to the back of the flower. There is a thread on the back of each stitch. This is his inner mountain. Our ninth circle is a line from Diali Mountain. Crochet. Next, start crocheting. Circle 9. Pick any flower. Listen at the beginning. Bring in the blue line. First, crochet a turning chain. Then in the same needle I crochet a single crochet. Then select the second single crochet at the back of the mountain. Crochet a single crochet. What if it's not easy to choose? We can use a thinner crochet. Pick out the coil first. This circle is at the inner mountain on the back of each single crochet. Crochet a single crochet. Pick out 12 single crochets on each petal. 
Slip stitches are not located in Lishan. Let's skip without hooking. Then we came to the first mountain of the next petal. Single crochet. We have been crocheting according to this rule. Leave the last petal as the wrapping position. Next, 30 braid needles are crocheted as handle part. After 30 braid needles are crocheted, pull to the position of the first needle. Next, crochet a turning chain. Cut the thread. Thread in pulling. Change the beige thread in the second circle of the wrap. Bring the coil into. First, crochet a turning chain. Next, knit a single crochet in the first stitch. What about this circle? We knit a single crochet in each stitch. Hook it all the way to the opening on the other side. After crocheting to the other side of the wrapping position, then on the handle, single crochet. A total of 33 single crochets are crocheted. After the handle part is crocheted, hook a slip stitches with the first stitch. Next, crochet a turning chain. Loop 3 of crocheted body. On the third lap of the body, we knit a single crochet. This circle of single crochet only needs to start from. One side of the bag mouth can be hooked to the other side of the bag mouth. After crocheting to the other side, crochet a turning chain, cut the thread, leave long suture. In this way, the bread body is crocheted. Follow the same method. A total of two pieces of body wrap are knitted. Next, I will wrap my body. The side and the side are in one-to-one -one correspondence for needle rolling suture. So, a very cute flower bag is crocheted. 